This then is how you should pray. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive you your sins. This is Jesus teaching on, on prayer and he gives his disciples a very specific framework for prayer. In fact, he gives them a mini liturgy to pray every day saying this is essential. This is your daily prayer. And uh, in the, a book called the Didache, which is a very early Christian ma instruction manual for new disciples, it, it instructed Christians to pray three times this, this very prayer every day. And I think we've lost that sometimes, especially in my tradition with our emphasis on extemporary prayer, that actually the Lord's Prayer is something that should fe feature in our daily habitus. Because it's a prayer that locates us. And if we forget some of the, the essentials of the Lord's Prayer, then our prayer life can become detached and unmoored and drift off like a boat that's not been tied to the side of the harbour. Because this prayer locates the prayer. It starts off recognising who God is. Our Father who is in heaven. That intimate bond of father child that Jesus um, so radically taught his disciples to assume but also in heaven the transcendent one the all-powerful omniscient God and it places a recognition of that and says hallowed be your name places the prayer in the context of worship your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven that vision of Jesus for the kingdom of heaven coming and being manifested in the world and so as the disciple prays this prayer they they say I sign up to that. I place myself at your disposal. I will your will. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It locates the prayer within the flow of God's purposes in history and in the world. So it starts off that prayer really powerfully and importantly in that way. Then it goes on to some of the needs of the prayer. Give us today the daily bread that we need, the things that we need today, Lord. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Um, Forgiveness is so important for that image of a, of a redeemed creation, a heaven on earth. And we need to forgive as we are forgiven by God. And lead us not into temptation or trial, but deliver us from the power of, of evil. That's what Jesus is saying is so important. So help us, Lord, today. And he, he focuses and he has a little postscript about forgiveness and how important it is to forgive and release those debts that we hold against other people when they've wronged us. Or maybe it's, it's literal debts that they hold against us and we, we oppress them through that. God has forgiven us and God chooses to forgive us so we have to forgive others. And God knows how hard that is. Jesus was no stranger to that. And, um, but he encourages us. This is essential. And prayer is a key arena where we struggle and wrestle that one through as we seek to see heaven made manifest on earth. So this week, how about praying the Lord's Prayer every day, maybe three times a day as we seek his kingdom on earth.